My pictures of the 2000 election took you right into the center of a tsunami. Your guy got the most votes. The problem is he won't be president. The whole country kind of paused for a while. This is an extraordinary moment for our democracy. Tight, tight, tight. It was probably the wildest political ride I've ever been on. Things are unlikely to settle for quite some time. I've liked covering elections because I like how crazy it gets. Shall immediately begin a manual recount. I think election 2000 created a lot of resentment in the country. The vice president has called Governor Bush and retracted his concession. He's not ready to give this up just yet. It's going to be resolved in a quick way. That was not supposed to happen in this country. That happens in other countries. It's uh, the sacred vote. I was a photographer at the White House for eight years under Clinton and Gore. During the 2000 election, my job was to document Al Gore, who was vice president of the United States at the time, running for president. I'm a news photographer. I won a Pulitzer Prize in Vietnam. I've covered 12 elections, nine presidents. I think by the end of eight years, I could tell you more about Al Gore's favorite ice cream and food. My relationship with Dick Cheney is a good one. We've known each other since 1974 flash forward to uh, the election in 2000, he gave me a lot of access that I might not otherwise have had. My part is not just to document them running for office, but to also show you the stress of the campaign, the toll it takes on a person, and where their role in this campaign was in history. The next president of the United States, Al Gore. Al Gore, I think he was known for being very smart, hardworking, a little stiff. You ain't seen nothing yet, and I will keep that promise. He's not stiff backstage. He was funny. He would balance things on his nose. George Bush had a reputation as kind of a wise guy. For those of you for me, thanks for your help. For those of you for my opponent, please only vote once. Good sense of humor. And if he hadn't quit drinking, was the kind of guy you would like to have a beer with. I really felt like that Bush was, could laugh more and was more charismatic, and Gore was not. And it's that true, seemed yeah. way more important no, to I think, it, but I think it, it, than who stands in the Oval Office, but who like, knows the information. Look at the high school, you run for high school president. I mean, who's the popular person generally is going to win? And that's a, a person who is more charismatic and all that. Election Day the day to choose a new president for a new century. Election the day start started for me with Dick Cheney up in Wilson, Wyoming, where he voted, got on his airplane, flew down to Austin, Texas. Gore and his family voted in Carthage, Tennessee. Then we motorcade to the Lowe's Plaza. Went over to the uh, Bush campaign headquarters where it was very downbeat. The race was kind of tight. But in this, the numbers were looking pretty good. Later on in the evening, I was in the Cheney suite. They watched the, the evening go from, looks like they were gonna lose, to it went even, and then it looked like they might win. By eight o'clock, one of the stations declared that Gore was the winner. And then it looks like they were gonna call it for Gore. The important, pivotal state of Florida now we have awarded that to Vice President Al Gore. It was a race to see who could say it first, so they declare that he's won. Florida goes for Al Gore. His kids are excited, its staff is excited, and then... Whew, what a night. 217 for Bush, 172 for Gore after Florida was moved back into the undecided column. By 10 o'clock, TV stations retracted that Gore was the winner. All of us at the networks made a mistake and projected Florida in the Al Gore column. It They're all mistake. just listening to what's coming off the TV set. And so you're watching it. You know, this was the scene where everybody was all excited. They thought he had won. And you know, you're just watching the whole party go down the drain. You got down low level here too. I mean, you needed to be there for that picture. I really like quiet moments. Most people see these people up on podiums and giving speeches. I hope that my style and my work humanizes them and shows you a part of their life that 
you don't normally get to see. This is a photo of, of, of Governor Bush reading over his notes of, for his victory speech, which he thinks he's going to be giving in a few minutes. I love watching uh, what makes people tick. And I'm motivated by telling stories, certainly, but to really get to the center of what's really happening. We're waiting for Al Gore to show up to make his concession speech. Pretty soon, everything started to, uh, to settle on Florida as the key state. They told Gore, you can't concede. It's, the election's way too close. The vice president has recalled the governor and retracted his concession, oh. saying that Florida is uh, too close right now. Now backstage here, he is rewriting his speech. He's not ready to give this up just yet. This was such a huge moment in American political history. What you're seeing here is uh, a big moment. This is really something to, to get these photos. I mean, I kept thinking somebody's gonna say, clear the room, right? They never said that and nobody left. And I was the first person to talk to him after Gore had called him. Now, I'll never forget this. He took it back. I said, who took what back? He said, Gore just called me and took back his concession. The whole evening just went upside down. Then they all sat down in this little room. It was like a little drawing room, and they were watching the um, a small TV that was in a low console. Uh, and it's probably the best political picture I've ever taken. Everybody's in shock. Uh, old man Bush is on the phone in the background, and Jeb is leaning over the, the couch like his life passing before his eyes. Recount, they are saying. Recount. Recount. Uh, There's no reason to think <laughs> that this election was going to end any less bizarrely than it began. I, I felt like the 2000 election showed that most people in our country don't really understand how the political process works. You know, when the popular vote said that Gore had won, I met so many people that were confused. They didn't even know what the Electoral College was. The Florida Supreme Court ruling was announced about an hour ago, and things are unlikely to settle for quite some time. I was down in Austin, and I was in the room with uh, Governor Bush and Mrs. Bush when they got that news. And it didn't go his way, and it was a very and somber moment. That the circuit court of the Second Judicial Circuit here in Tallahassee shall immediately begin a manual recount of the, approxim uh, of the approximately 9,000... Kelly Shell on the other side was with Al Gore when they got that news, and it was a moment of jubilation for them. This gave him the lifeline one more nice. time. The thing is, you can hear the TV, and you're thinking, OK, it's going pretty good. And you're just going, OK, don't miss it if, some, if they do get excited. But he never would get that excited. That's a great shot. Now, I have the mirror opposite of this picture. You could see it went Gore's way, and it didn't go Bush's way. And in this case, my pictures and yours totally opposite. tell what wow. happened in the room at that moment. The nation and the world still wait and watch for a decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. There was so much going on, and with the Supreme Court drama, uh, people demonstrating outside. I remember Mrs. Gore calling me into the dining room and saying, I think they're about to come out with a decision. And you're in there with it was Vice President Gore, his daughter Sarah, his other daughter Kristen, and Mrs. Gore. And I can remember standing there and I was thinking, this is kind of my family too. I think they thought this is going to be a positive decision. And I can remember when I got the decision watching the body language, it was almost like the air go out of Al Gore. The Supreme Court overturned the Florida Supreme Court decision that allowed manual recounts of ballots. The roller coaster crashed. Kelly Shell has a great photograph of him getting that news, which is uh, profound. What's really terrific about this photo, when Gore is finally hearing the Supreme Court decision, he's got the pen in his hand, but he's not taking notes. In fact, it's pointing away from the paper. 
If you want to tell a story about where did Al Gore's career as a politician end, that's it. That's a really important picture. Just moments ago, I spoke with George W. Bush and congratulated him on becoming the 43rd president of the United States. And I promised him that I wouldn't call him back this time. My hope when you look at these photographs is you realize how emotional this was to Gore, you know, how it affected his family. And then to see everything he went through in 30 days to have the Supreme Court stop the election. Ultimately, the Florida recount ended up with George Bush winning. It had to go to court. That's how we do things in this country on one hand. Uh, uh, we're set up that way. I tried to just show how involved and positive Al Gore was, that he really wanted to see this process through. It was stressful, but it was fascinating. Your ultimate scholar test in government policy. So help me God. Congratulations. And I thank Vice President Gore for a contest conducted with spirit and ended with grace. This is Inauguration Day. That's Inauguration Day. Oh my God, day. what a great photo. Yeah, I love that down. photo. And that's such a great way to kind of end it. The crowds are gone, the press is gone, the staff is gone. That photograph captured it better than anything I've ever seen. A really amazing moment. Thousands of people are in the streets right now. It was very divided on the answer. I think it made people lose some of their trust in our voting system, which is a shame. So that's something now I think that you have to rebuild. I think Callie's pictures and my pictures really show two totally different kind of people. My overall impression of Gore or Bush is either one of them would have done a good job. I think that one vote decision did more than keep a person out of office. It actually did change the course of the United States history.